Oh my god. First of all, the Apollo is historic. But we know that this movie is going to do something historic in and of itself. So I feel like it's fitting. Like, we're celebrating black culture in one of the most iconic spaces that has celebrated black culture in, in the history. I'm just so excited. It's it's so wild. It's unreal. Oh, it's very grounded. It's authentic. We, we, we show different hues of blackness. I mean, we all know that black people are not a monolith, but it's nice to see fully fleshed out characters and not one not two there are four different types of black women there are four different types or five different types of black men um i feel like the world needs to see us in our fullness and and so often people see us through the lens of whiteness and you don't get a chance to really see us um in our full capacity and our full glory and as amazing as we are and intricate as we are Traditionally, we know what the trope is. If we see the lone black person, we know that they're going to be the first person to die. Um, but it's nice. We push back on that. And the thought process is like, okay, so how are you going to figure out who dies if we're all black? And so it's interesting because when Dwayne was talking about like creating ways or a system to figure out like how they would quantify blackness in, in of course, a ludicrous situation such as that. Um, we were like, God, it would be hilarious if you start to really say the things that people say in their group chat and say the things that they say behind closed doors on a huge screen in front of the whole world. Uh, yeah! Are you kidding me? I have like four different dates to watch this movie again. I've already seen it three times and I feel like I missed so many jokes the first couple times, but I'm for sure going to watch it again. Honestly, it's everything. I think number one to be here at, at in Tribeca and to have a festival that is honoring what we did and what we created, we're all just so greatly appreciative for it. And then to be at Apollo in Harlem, the history, the legacy, and to see what we're trying to do to progressively move culture forward in the right way, and this being a legacy that moved us forward in so many good ways, it's a gift and it's a blessing at the same time. Growing up, Tim's story was someone that I really looked up to. He was one of my heroes. He was one of the first black men that I ever saw direct a major studio film in the Fantastic Four. So a large part and really the most key part of me wanting to do this film was to work with Tim Story. You know what, what I love about it is like, you know the tropes that we do, that people always talk about, that they do in, in horror films that are kind of corny. You go, why would you do that? We do all that, we call it on its nose and we do that to stay alive. So we survive by doing these tropes. Listen, if you're gonna be in Los Angeles, I'm doing something special. I'm actually doing a movie in the park. So if you're going to be in Los Angeles, we're doing a movie in the park. If you know me, hit me. If you don't, sign up. We're going to be screening the blackening. Juneteenth weekend, movie in the park is about to go down. Yes, it feels so surreal because I moved to New York um, 10 years ago to pursue my dreams and I spent eight years here grinding and hustling out. I moved 24 times in eight years. So it's not just to like be at the Apollo, but to be in a city where I worked so hard and I hustled so hard and I climbed and I was so resilient to get to a place where now I'm at the Apollo Theater premiering the most brilliant horror comedy that you ever will see. I'm having an out of the body experience. 100%. She's a comic relief, I feel, in a friend group, but there's multiple comic reliefs that you'll see throughout the film. And um, I, I would say that she's the type of person that, oh, she would have all the answers, but she actually does not. Yeah, yeah. You know his whole resume from back when he directed John B. and Tupac in, in the music video. Like, he direct Tyrese lately. Like, I know him from there. So from, like, barbershop to ride along, I'm like, wow, I just felt so honored. And I think I gave the best performance that I have ever given to date because of how safe I felt with Tim's story. It is giving um, legacy. Like, this is the first time that I really feel like I have, like, work in the world. And for it to be premiering here is, like, truly, my brain is, like, bursting. It's historical. Like, it's... it's it's wild. I've never thought that this is where this would end up when I wrote a sketch in 2016. <laughs> yes, my character's name is Dwayne. Uh, he is a black queer friend. He really loves his friends and he will do anything it takes for him and his friends to survive. And honestly, the chemistry of this cast, I think, is what makes the film. We bonded so quickly. There's like a genuine love that I feel for these people. And I'm so glad that it's, it's very clear on screen. And that's something that like I hope that people really take away from it. Timothy's story is one of 
the best people I've ever worked with in my life. He's one of my favorite people, like truly. Uh, he is just so kind. His process is so human. Uh, he really created a space that allowed us to give the best performances that we could give. I think that we really tried to hit a, a specific tone. We're like, the horror is grounded. These are real people in real danger. And the comedy comes from them being authentically themselves and how that horror and that comedy like conflicts. Yeah. I'm thinking all around. I'm seeing what the people are giving. I'm gonna be in the theaters looking at how people are receiving this because that's my favorite part is just being able to see people absorb the culture yeah absolutely we we really wanted to make a film that was like for us by us and juneteenth was a perfect day to talk about celebration to talk about freedom and that's what they're fighting for their freedom from this person trying to kill them We different when it's all of us versus being a mixed company, you know what I mean? We got to be a little bit more reserved, but sometimes we can be unapologetically ourselves, but it's not received the same way. So the fact that it's all of us, you kind of get this this um, unapologetic blackness that's just beautiful. And also, it just changes the dynamic of the film. You know, we, we survivalists. We play life on, on expert, on hard. So um, what we got to do to survive comes second nature. Being king, he's... He's trying to re not reclaim his identity, but you know, he was known as a thug. He was a little rough around the edges in college, but he's grown past that and now he wants people to see him for who he is and appreciate and recognize his growth. Bill so was the captain. He let us he led us with a calm, steady, and confident hand. You know what I mean? He just let us do our thing. Um, if ever we like have suggestions, he open to that. He knows what he wants. He's just like Call, collect at all times as far as we saw. We're gonna claim this one is ours. So hopefully we set the bar for it to be just a big weekend for films to come out and also um, just celebrate us. I mean, this film has been marketed as just black on black on black on black. We coming out Juneteenth weekend. We're uh, premiered at Tribeca, but at in Harlem. Okay, Harlem Renaissance and everybody and at the world famous Apollo Theater. It don't get no blacker than this. I feel like I I hope people know that we did this for the culture. Okay. So if you if you there's nothing else there's no way else we can make this more black, right? It's an all black ass black director. It's gonna be fire. My character is one that, you know, She's just out here just trying to bring the group together and hope, hoping that, you know, the weekend goes well, no drama. Because, you know, when you have a friendship group, it, you got to balance. And, uh, you know, things go south very quickly. Hey, just, it's not what they imagined at all. The math wasn't math and, and you know, yeah. God bless everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and this was a, such a fun cast, you know. Um, there's so many comedians and and folks who are just funny in this movie and so it was all jokes all day even when we're trying to be serious and when we're trying to have like a slasher moment um you know me and jay did a lot of our scenes together so you know just that, that good energy a fun time is the kind of movie that you should watch in a the theater full of black people to get the full movie going experience because we're we gonna talk back to the to the screen we're gonna laugh we're gonna scream we're gonna be like now why you do that The multitude of entertainers have, uh, have come here crazy, so I'm glad to be one of them. You know what I mean? And I'm glad that we're doing it here. It's so black. That's what it is. Sean is a little bit overzealous where he shouldn't be. And in real life, I'm not like that. I will, I, I'm not going to be like, let's go in this room, baby. I'm going to be like, hey, I heard it. I heard a crack. We need to leave. <laughs> is an idea that's never been done before. It's innovative. Uh, you, you have all different type of representations of black folks in this movie. And uh, we all came down first. So, and you've never seen a all, you've never seen a leading cast of all black people do a, 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 a comedy horror. Well, that's what it was. Um, when you say the Apollo, uh, first of all, I'm gonna rub the stump, make sure we uh, get some good luck. But um, look, if we can make it here, I think we can make it anywhere in the world. So um, it's a big deal. They're awesome. They're, you know, this movie really um, hinged on the fact that you believe that they are friends for a decade or more. Most of them didn't know each other. They came in and just made it work and um, I'm so proud of them. Well, it's funny and, and most importantly, it's um, specific to a culture. 
Um, it is black. It is unapologetic. It is um, a lot of fun, and um, I can't wait for people to see it. Just like you to feel better uh, when you go out than when you went in. Um, it is one of those movies that we kind of designed it for people to scream at the theater, um, the screen, and uh, hopefully they do. Oh yeah, it's a historical weekend, and I, because this movie is coming out, I'm just gonna uh, theater hop, and uh, hopefully I'll uh, see people enjoying it. God, it's surreal and kind of perfect for me because I have another show, Harlem, that shoots in Harlem, and I'm like, oh wow, full circle moment to be back here for this. I'm so, so thrilled. I've actually never been inside the Apollo, so to have this be my first moment is like amazing. They're perfect. Sometimes like a cast just comes together and it's magic. They love each other, so the chemistry is like real for them. The last time I'm gonna tell you that I had a cast like that for a movie that fit so perfectly was Girl Strip. Where you just knew you were in the presence of like really great chemistry and they have that same magic to them. Tim's story's a dream. He's like weirdly self-deprecating like I am and collaborative. So like just doing stuff with him is easy. We always defer to each other. There's not a lot of egos in play. So it's a really good process. Cause it's funny and not like a little bit funny or like cute funny. It's like laugh out loud funny. It'll shut the house down tonight. It's that type, I'm still serious. It's that type of funny. It's a dream. It's a dream come true. We uh, started this movie back in 21, and um, it's a little movie that could, you know. So I, I honestly can't believe it. I got my whole family here, and we're all excited, and it's real special. Well, it's tribute to Dwayne Perkins, you know, one of our cast members and writers. He and Tracy Oliver, uh, you know, my client. Uh, they wrote a, a, an incredible script with, you know, three-dimensional char characters, and so when this cast started to audition and put them to make themselves available it just it just magic you know like we got the right people at the right time they're all on the ascension when we when we cast them and we were really fortunate because they all love each other the outset we were you know attempted to do something different there's a conversation that's been going on about black people in horror films and um you know we kind of took that concept and ran with it and you know all the cultural references that we all have, you know, and talking back to the screen and horror movies, they all made their way into the film. And, you know, it's, it's an original piece of material from an original voice. So, you know, I don't think you'll ever see anything like it again. Um, and there was never anything like it before. This is for us, right? This is for black folks. You know, we made this for the culture. We want everybody to come, but we knew, we knew exactly which audience that we were making it for. So, you know, come one, come all, but really black audiences, this is for y'all.